All right, welcome back to the show, folks. We have the threat for severe weather, mainly back off to the west of us. You see where we have that red area right there? That is a level four threat out of a possible five threat, so a moderate risk for severe weather over to just south of Jackson, headed down toward New Orleans. You're looking at uh, the good possibility for tornadoes, maybe long track tornadoes uh, in that area. You notice over us, we have uh, mainly the dark green shade. That's a level one threat or a marginal risk for severe weather. Some of our westernmost counties, just a sliver of that in the level two category. What does that mean for us? Well, it means that we could see isolated strong to severe thund thunderstorms. Any thunderstorms that are in our area late tonight going into Thursday, and we keep that level one threat over us on Thursday, uh, means that they could pack quite a punch as far as uh, some gusty winds. Winds may be up to about 68 miles per hour. Rain would be the greatest threat for us. Very heavy rain could lead to some flash flooding in the area. Tornado threat low, the hail threat low, uh, but not ruled out, of course. Something that we'll have to watch out for, especially through the overnight going into Thursday morning. That's the timing for this. Here it is. Our forecast track model shows light rain over us this morning pushing out for our northernmost counties. We'll get a break in some of those clouds to get some sunshine in before more clouds move back in. It's just after six or between six and seven o'clock that we're expecting this rain to push into our westernmost counties. We'll move over toward the metro area as we head into the evening. Again, some gusty winds along this line of showers and thunderstorms. Even outside of the thunderstorms, those winds will be a bit gusty, but we're looking at some very heavy rain in the area as well. And so that moves through. The heavy rain will subside by the time you wake up on Thursday morning, but we'll still keep the scattered showers and possibility for thunderstorms in the forecast as a front will be pushing through our area, it's behind that front that temperatures will finally start to cool down, but it also will usher in some drier air coming our way as well, just in time for the weekend. We got 77 today, tomorrow 73, down to 68 by Friday. We'll have the sunshine around, be a pretty windy day as well. So it's a day that you're gonna need at least a light coat or a jacket, but very stylish, of course. We'll keep the sunshine around through the weekend and our temperatures will gradually warm back up, back to the 80s by Sunday. Crash. 